I want them to come. Remember what I told you many years ago. They will kill us. We will kill them in the end. Biafra will come. Everything I tell you comes to pass. They will know they are gentle. They will come. They are foolish. By nature, they are very hopeless. They will come. This time around, they we will turn Biafra land into a burial ground for terrorists. They will understand how serious we are. If we have raised it, it's no longer coming down until freedom is declared. They understand that very well. They understand that very well. That is need for us to remain focused. Going into this 2021, focused. Don't allow yourselves to become distracted. That was what happened to us during the war. Had we fought that war up until August or September of 1970, we would have won. That would have been victory. Nixon would have stepped in. That would have been victory. But we gave up as we always do. Man, this UG. After a little, you know, run, mental toughness is not in us. After a little thing, we just give up. Look at Trump, how Trump is fighting. It is nothing. Oh, why don't you concede now? Oh, why don't you give up now? Hey, give up now. Uh, let's leave it for God. Let God do it. Trump said no. Because in a first world like the United States of America, any hint of electoral fraud ought to be investigated. These are white people. You think they're going to You think they are black Africans? No. This time around, they be, we will turn Biafra land into a burial ground for terrorists. They will understand how serious we are. If we have raised it, it's no longer coming down until freedom is declared. They understand that very well. They understand that very well. That is need for us to remain focused. Going into this 2021, focused. Don't allow yourselves to become distracted. That was what happened to us during the war. Had we fought that war up until August or September of 1970, we would have won. That would have been victory. Nixon would have stepped in. That would have been victory. But we gave up as we always do. Man, this UG. After a little, you know, run, mental toughness is not in us. After a little thing, we just give up. Look at Trump, how Trump is fighting. It is nothing. Oh, why don't you concede now? Oh, why don't you give up now? Hey, give up now. Uh, let's leave it for God. Let God do it. Trump said no. Because in a first world like the United States of America, any hint of electoral fraud ought to be investigated. These are white people. You think they are going to throw it? You think they are black Africans? No. I'm not saying that Biden did not win. I'm not saying that. But there are evidence of electoral fraud and it is being investigated. Look at all of you in Africa. Look at all of you. Are debating how many people are on the electoral roll? How many people actually voted? Can you mind their signatures? That is how human beings reason in, uh, in disease. Um, let's leave it now for God. Hey, it's 2023. Let's leave it now. In this UG, black people, we must be focused. A lot of things are happening, and this evening. I must make you understand this. We are not folding our arms and we're not going to allow them to overrun us. They have overrun parts of Benue. That is their game plan. That is one thing on why he doesn't know. Mwike doesn't know. Obi and all these idiotic governors, they or maybe they know. The allure of um, being a vice president to a Janjawi is what is propelling them. Do you know that Benue State, they want to install a Sadwana in Otrubo? In our own Otrubo, Otrubo, they want to put Sadwana there. Now, let me say this thing to the so-called middle belt. Of course, Otrubo is, um, is part and parcel of um, Biafra, but let's, let me, for, 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 for the benefit of this very analysis, let's call them middle belt. Do you remember that you fought against Ojupu? Do you remember that the same propaganda they're using now to get some of you they they deployed it in the middle belt. They told the Ojukwu is here to take over their land, to dominate them, to make their life a misery. They foolishly fought against Biafra. But today, the man that told you that Ojukwu is your problem is planning to install a Sadwana in Otrubo. What does that mean? Because some of you do not know history. You have no knowledge of history. 
You know, some of you go through zoo primary school, zoo secondary school, zoo, zoo university, you know nothing. Your brains are empty. As one man, I, I think it was a professor that said that a graduate in Nigeria is more dangerous than, than an illiterate. Because half education is dangerous. You know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Look at your history books. The same game they played in Gobe, in Sokoto, is happening now at your doorstep in Otruto. Sadwana in Otruto. This is your one Nigeria for you. Anybody who, do you see why I said that? Anybody who believes in Nigeria, I swear to God Almighty in heaven, I should swear that I am life on air. I don't regard you as a human being. Any, once you get up and you say, I am a Nigerian, heaven knows you are lower, before my sight, you are lower than animal. You are one Nigeria. Ojuku is your problem. Igbo is your problem. Nandekami is your problem. Biafra is your problem. They have come to Trubo. First, they divide you. That's what they do. They divide you and they conquer you piecemeal by piecemeal, territory after territory. Have you seen it? They have come now to Trubo. The same place they couldn't penetrate for nearly 5,000 years. They have now come. How did they succeed? Because they told you that all to repay, you're different. You're not part of, uh, of them. You're part of us. North. North. The one North. Evil man is your problem. Now, Fulani is your problem, isn't it? Sadwana of Otrupo. That land is gone. And unless they fight, oh, he's gone oh, forever and ever. I'm telling you the truth. They have to join us and fight. You must fight. You have to fight. If you don't fight, your land is gone. Because what is going to happen is um, when they have the election, Fulani man is an INEC chairman. You know they're going to remove Obaseki very soon. Obaseki will be out from the doorstep. They'll kick him out. Uh, certificate forgery is gone. Do you know what they will do? They will impose their people on you. Who voted for Hopus Adem? Uh, some people today in Nimo are saying, our governor, our governor, I, I keep asking myself, are you sure you created these people? Are they human beings? Who voted for him? Nobody. The same way it was an experiment. As you have accepted Hopus Adem, so will you accept whoever they impose as Ohaneze President General? And your lives are over. And then what they will do now is to be fighting IPOB. And some of you very gullibly and very foolishly, without the benefit of common sense, reasoning or understanding, will join them. Because you are foolish. The only thing that you need to ask these people is this. The only question you need to ask them is this. Who killed the girl at Uli? Who killed her? Who killed the girl at Uli and cut her body into pieces? All these people now issuing statement after statement. Of, of course, I know they are fake. And I'm, I'm saying now that DSS is issuing fake statement after fake statement, who issued a statement when that lady was murdered? She was raped and cut into pieces. An Igbo woman. How many Igbo groups will come up then to speak? All these idiots now writing their long epistles for nation newspaper, for Sahara reporters writing garbage. How many of you wrote your epistle when your sister was raped by uncircumcised Fulani Janjaweed and her body cut into pieces in our land and abomination? You said nothing. These are the people now that some of you idiots are listening to. When they went to Ozo One, go and Google it, Ozo One, you know, that if I knew one was calling Buhari, then Buhari refused to take his call. Go and check it until the Fulani is finished massacring our people. There. What did you do? Nothing. And you think that under my watch, I'm going to allow the Fulani Janjawi to overrun our land? We will all die. I told you that I'm coming, that I'll bring hell with me. You think I've forgotten? Anything I tell him, I'm going to do it. And I will come. And I will bring hell with me. Because nobody is going to stop us. Nobody is going to stop us. Everywhere there is kidnapping. Everywhere you go to bandits are killing. Just Google it in, this in the news. Every blessed day, people are dying. People are being kidnapped. Every blessed day. And some idiots are getting up and talking about one Nigeria. Do you see how foolish some idiots are? 
You are talking about one when in Otrubo there is a Sadwana in Otrubo. All of us must understand this that um, Eastern Security Network has come to stay, it's not going anywhere. Everybody in the international community is aware of our sensitization efforts. And now the world understands that the main perpetrators of violent attacks against our people, against everybody, including even some Fulani peasants, are extremists from the north, spearheaded by the Fulani Caliphate. Before the coming of IPAB, the Fulani, through the aid of the British government and their, and, their, and their Zoom media that they control, have always lied about the reality of events in the zoo. Everything is uh, farmer head a clash, farmer head a clash. <laughs> These are people taking over the land of, of the indigenous populations. This left the international community confused for very many years until we came and spent a whole lot of money on our consultants in Washington. It is not hidden. The Department of Justice in America has the details of our contract and somebody will rise up and say oh but where are they spending all the money as they ask him what they're doing with her the idiots some fools some fools who are aware of what of our financial commitments all over the world that was when i knew that some people are satanic some people are, are i don't know where from where they came from to even join ipab in the first place Department of Justice in America has our contract which the zoo, Karaba Sheikh, has been talking about for very many years. Is there how much you pay them on a monthly basis? And, oh, Chinat and this, you, gee, some people are evil by nature. Evil, but it's not, it's not going to deter us. We continue to move. Are you aware that in Enugu, a full -on man shot dead a traditional ruler wearing a police uniform? This is the one Nigeria that wants to build up. This is one Nigeria. Go and tell the family of that tradition we love at one Nigeria. A policeman, because he's a fool. Can you imagine an evil man, constable or inspector, going to the north and killing an M.A.? What do you think will happen? They will kill every evil person in that state. But in Enugu, because you people, uh, you allow them, these insults you're receiving is because of, you know, your envy and you for you. Uh, you know, an evil man is very envious by nature. Very envious to the point of destruction. Now look at, um, look at the Igwe they have killed, the Ezra they, they killed in Enugu. What is going to happen? Nothing. Because you have women, not I wouldn't say I wouldn't insult women, please forgive me. You have wretched, little livered cowards as your political leaders. I ask you this question. Do you think an Igbo policeman can go to the north and go to storm a village and kill an Emma? <laughs> Is that possible? No. But it's happening in your land. And you open your dirty, your dirty mouth to say you're a Nigerian. God punish you. Punish you now and punish you forever. The one Nigeria, mad people everywhere. 